Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. When you enable workbook or worksheet protection in an Excel file, you have the option to set a password. But what happens when you need to make changes to the file and you don't know the password? Stay tuned and I'll explain all. So I have this Excel file which has both worksheet and workbook protection enabled, both with password set. If you don't know the difference between the two types of protection, workbook protection affects the workbook structure. It's primarily to do with worksheets. And when workbook protection is on, certain operations are unavailable. So for example, I can't insert a new sheet. And if I right click on one of the existing sheets, a lot of the options are greyed out. If I go up to the review tab and try to turn off workbook protection, it asks me for a password. Worksheet protection, on the other hand, that was covered in last week's tutorial, and it's primarily used to prevent users typing into cells that they shouldn't be typing into, overwriting formulas, for example. So if I try to type something into A1, it tells me that the sheet is protected. And if I try and turn off sheet protection, again, it asks me for a password. When you set a protection password on worksheet or workbook, it does warn you if you lose or forget the password, it can't be recovered. However, that is not 100% true. You can't actually recover the password, but what you can do is you can turn the protection off without knowing the password. And that is what I'm going to show you. Whether you need to turn off workbook or worksheet protection, the starting point is always the same. Using File Explorer on Windows or Finder on Mac, change the extension of the Excel file to zip. So I'll right click on the name of the file, click on Rename and change the extension to zip and confirm that that's what I want to do. Let's start with how to remove a workbook protection password. On this Windows PC, if I double click it will open up File Explorer and display the files and folders that are stored inside the zip file. In the folder called XL, there is a file called workbook.xml. And I'm going to make a copy of that, drag it out onto the desktop. I'm going to edit to that file. And when it's edited, I'll add it back to the zip file. I can open that XML file using any text editor. So Notepad on Windows, Text Edit on the Mac will do. Right click on the XML file, select Open with Notepad. I need to delete the workbook protection section in this file. And the easiest way to do that is to search with the find command for workbook protection. It's all one word. And when I've found it, I need to select everything, starting with the angle bracket just before workbook protection, all the way up to and including the angle bracket after workbook protection. So selected that block and press the delete key. Save the file, close the file and drag it back into File Explorer, replacing the one that's already there. Then I need to rename the file, the zip file, back to being an Excel file. So either XLSX, if it's a normal Excel file, or XLSM, if it's got macros in it. And then I'm done. So if I double click to open this file, it opens it up in Excel and I can add new sheets and I can right click on existing sheets and all the features are there. And if I go up to the review tab and click protect workbook, it's asking me to protect the workbook because it is currently unprotected. So let's move on to worksheet protection. With worksheet protection, passwords are set on a per sheet basis, and I need to edit the contents of the Manchester sheet. So I'll close down the Excel file. And as I did before, I will rename the file to have a zip extension and then open the file. In the Excel folder, there is a folder called worksheets. And inside this folder, 
you'll find one XML file for each worksheet. Now, unfortunately, the file names do not necessarily match the names displayed on the worksheet tabs in Excel. The file names will always be sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and so on. And in our Excel file, the sheet names were Manchester, London, Paris. So if I go back up a level, we have the workbook XML file, the one that I edited a minute ago. I'm going to drag a copy of that onto the desktop, open it with Notepad, and I'm looking for the sheets section. The easiest way to do that is to use find, search for sheets. Now here's the sheets section. And you can see that the sheet with the ID one is Manchester. The sheet with the ID two is London and the sheet with the ID three is Paris. So based on that, it is sheet one XML that we need to be editing. So I will close this XML file down and delete it from the desktop. I didn't make any changes, so there's nothing to add back into the zip file. So if I go back into the worksheets folder and then drag sheet one onto the desktop and open that. I'm then looking for the section called sheet protection. And I want to remove everything to do with that. So starting with the angle bracket and going all the way up to the next angle bracket. So it's that block there. Delete it, save the file, close the file, and then drag the file back into the worksheets folder, replacing the one that was already there. And close the zip file down and delete the XML file from the desktop. Finally, I want to rename the file back to have an XLSX extension. And let's test it out. So if I open up the Excel file, I should find now that I can type into any cell in the Manchester sheet. And if I go to the format tab, the option to unprotect sheet has gone and I now have the option to protect the sheet. So the next time someone in your office can't edit a password protected Excel file, you'll be able to don your superhero outfit. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.